Hey everyone, it's Monica with Kids Lids for my Journey to a Happier, Healthier Me, Friday, October 28th. It's Friday, yay! <laughs> Although this week for me, it's not a TGIF Friday because I have been home sick all week. Um, as I said yesterday, I'm finally, finally starting to feel back to normal. This flu has really bit my butt. It has taken a toll on me and uh, <clears throat> I haven't been this sick in a long time, for this lengthy amount of time anyway. Usually if I catch something, I have it for like, you know, maybe two days at the max, and then I'm well. Not this time. It's been like forever, and I'm getting really tired of it. Oh, it's with this hair here. Anyway, um, so yeah, today I uh, got up, I had my shower, blow dried my hair, got my bag ready for school, got lunch packed, and got Marina up, got her ready, and then I was like... I can't do this today. I was so physically, emotionally, mentally drained and exhausted. Um, so, I mean, you can always tell with me when I'm done. My face goes really, really pale. Like, to the point where I look like I'm going to faint pale. Been like that since I was a kid. So my mom could always tell when I was sick. <laughs> there was no kidding around with that. Um, and, uh... Yeah, so I just decided that I was going to go back to sleep, and I slept so well, thankfully. I think I said, I told you that I had breakfast, right? I had my special K for breakfast, and it just didn't taste right. Like, I mean, I haven't had an appetite, as you guys know, except for yesterday. I finally had an appetite. Not today. So I've had um, a bowl of special K, and then for lunch I had um, an oatmeal muff cake, and that's it. Oh, and a few um, small little tortillas because I was craving salt, I guess because I've been having so much water. Like pounds and pounds and pounds of water. Gallons of water. Um, just because, you know, trying to get well and, and figuring that the water will help me. So I've been just basically sucking back water whenever I can. And now, um, because I've drank so much water, it's gotten to the point where I can only, and I mean only, drink freezing ice cold water with ice cubes in it it cannot be room temperature it cannot be sort of cold it has to be freezing cold or it's turning my stomach even so I don't know if it's just because I drank so much water anyway <coughs> um, I was telling you at the group last night of different things that we're doing to um, basically expand your meal I know that that sounds weird the way that it's saying but um, for instance, as I was saying, if you're having like rice and vegetables, maybe make a vegetable rice soup so that you have the quantity of the broth. So making the quantity of your meal, even though it has the same amount of food in it, bigger so that you feel like you're eating more and then that way you essentially eat less. So one of, and, and of course putting healthier um, filling things in your meals. So lots of vegetables. Um, for me, it's you know, cutting back on the fruit and adding more vegetables instead because I am huge on fruit. Um, so one of the things that they suggested is because I'm a huge oatmeal and cereal person is to try all brand buds. So she gave us these little single um, sample packages and a coupon for them. So I'm going to try them um, and uh, see how that goes. So this little packet alone is one third of your recommended daily fiber intake. So um, that in itself is quite amazing and it's got 36 percent of your daily fiber so that's just really cool which is nine grams by the way um, so in it is wheat bran sugar psyllium seed husk salt baking soda natural color vitamins which is thiamine hydrochloride D calcium pantothenate Pyridoxine, hydrochloride, folic acid, iron, BHT. I'm going to have to look that up because I'm not sure if this is vegan. So, yeah. Um, I think BHT is a preservative, but I have to make sure, right? So, sorry. Um, so that's it for that. Um, and, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm so wanting to get well again. <sighs> and I want my energy back like you guys know me I am like this sometimes like bundle of energy and 
it's weird for me to not feel like that. It actually feels off. Like I feel like I'm just, I don't know, not in my zone. So, um, my friends at school, you guys rock. They've been texting me and phoning me and Facebooking me and, you know, getting all my paperwork for me and, and wishing me well. And I love you so much for it. Thank you so much. Um, and then of course, all you guys in my YouTube weight loss community, you're my little family. I love you so much. And, uh, as Dale, which is, uh, she's Beecher 1967 was saying, this flu or cold or whatever we both had now, it seems, it, it, you're fine for one day or kind of fine. And then the next day or the next two, three days, you're out for the count or you're okay for a day and then horribly, horribly sick for the next day. And it's not just, you know, a cold sick, it's full out nothing is going on in your life that day. I need to lay in bed. Don't bother me. Leave me alone. Close the windows, close the doors, close the lights, close everything and let me sleep. <laughs> That's how you feel. It is just horrid. So, um, yeah, tonight I'm going shopping with Marina for her birthday stuff because I just can't do it on my own. I think, see, I don't know if I said that. I've tried to record this video a couple times. Phone rang, sirens, you know, the norm. So, um, and I was supposed to, you know, just tidy up and, and, uh, get everything ready for tomorrow, but I didn't even do that because I'm just not well. And for the first time ever, I did not make a birthday cake for Marina on her birthday party. Me, who is a cake decorator, I sell cakes and I love making them. Just did not feel up to doing a cake because it can take me like four or five hours, right? If I do a really elaborate one. So when I get better... I'll make her a cake and make up for it. So <laughs> she was like, she came home from school and she was kind of hurt, but she didn't want to say anything. And then finally she's like, mom, you didn't make me a cake for my birthday. You always make me a cake for my birthday. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm sick and I'm not feeling well. And she's like, I know, but you could tell she was all hurt faced about it. And I feel horrible. So I will make it up to her. Other than that, uh, I don't know. I just have no appetite today and it's, it's bothering me. I've drank all my water, like, I mean, I've drank water all day to keep hydrated. Honestly, if I wasn't drinking water this week, I don't know how I would have felt. I would have been, like, 400 times worse because um, the worst thing when you're feeling like this is to get dehydrated. So I definitely recommend if you can't eat anything, at least keep the liquids in you. So maybe I'll try and have some sweet potato soup, but I have to go and pick up Marina in a half an hour. We're going to go and do the groceries and uh, pick up the stuff for tomorrow. Um, and, uh, they'll have to just do the stuff, even, even that stuff. Like I usually would get everything ready and have it all just ready in little Tupperwares for the kids to make their own tacos. The, and, and I just, I can't, I don't have the energy for it. I don't have the, whatever you call it to do it. Um, so they're going to prepare it all themselves tomorrow, which will be fun anyway for them. So it's cool. They're going to be here for six hours, <laughs> six girls. Six hours. Ah, help me. Anybody want to come over and, like, you know, let me go to bed? <laughs> um, but I will have help, thankfully. So I might ask Cooker to stay. My son's coming. Kevin's going to be here. And some other people. So I don't know about vlogging tomorrow, but I will try. And uh, the kids love getting in the vlogs, so maybe I'll do one when they're here and they can get in it. And so that's tomorrow. And then Sunday we're doing the... Um, makeover day. I'm so excited about this. I really wish I was feeling well, so please, 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 tomorrow, I really, really want to feel well again. Like, back to my normal self. Not just well like I was yesterday. Yesterday, I was almost there. And then today, I'm almost where I was yesterday. It's just, ugh. So, yeah. The dog is trying to hide his treat. Okay. Um, for those of you who don't know, we have these, like, really, really cool dog bakeries in Toronto. And there's one down on the beach, it's called Big Dog Bakery. We were telling you about it the other day. So Marina went and got that little treat. And he has been hiding this thing. He's so crazy. He goes under the couch, okay? Because I told you that the fabric, there's a little rip in the fabric. And he's like, you know, two pounds to nothing. So he squishes this little butt and face in there. And then he sits in there with the, with the cookie staring out at you. <laughs> it's so cute. So right now... He's kneading in the towel, trying to hide his cookie, and he's had this thing for, like, ever, and it's really funny. I just thought that I would share that with you. 
Oh yeah, I don't think I talked about Kevin. I don't remember. I've recorded so many times today, I don't remember what I'm talking about. And I don't want to say it again, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, Steve, which is Cash Reject, did a video the other day. I think it was like, I just watched it today, so I don't know when it was recorded. But, um, and he was talking about, or in the bottom of it, it said about Kevin Smith. So I was like, oh my gosh, they probably don't realize that my Kevin, my boyfriend, is not actually Kevin. His name is Travis, but the reason why we call him Kevin is because he is a spitting image of what Kevin Smith looks like when he was younger. It's really freaky. If Kevin, my Kevin Travis, puts on a hat backwards and a trench coat, and he has this scruff going on, he looks exactly like Silent Bob. So now you can go and Google Silent Bob, and then if you're on my Facebook, you can look at the pictures, and I think I actually have one of Travis and his best friend Dan dressed up as Jay and Silent Bob, because Dan used to look like Jason Mewes, who was Jay. Yeah, it's crazy. So the first time that I met him, I was at work, and I did a double take, and I was like, dude, you look like Kevin Smith. And he was like, hmm, okay, because he's probably heard it like a million times, and I'm like, no, that's your new name. I'm calling you Kevin Smith. So I actually have just kept that going. And when we started dating, I was like, I have to call you Travis, and he's like, no, it'll be too weird. So I've called him Kevin. My whole family knows him as Kevin. They know his real name, obviously, that's Travis, but... And on my message, on my answer machine, if you call it, is Travis, so it confuses people because they know him as Kevin. Um, anyway, I just thought that that was funny, so I thought I would share that with you. So we have gotten double takes and everything when we're out, especially downtown. People are, like, walking, watching us walk by. It's really, really funny. Um, and I would love to, uh, the only thing, my Kevin is short, and, and Kevin Smith, the real Kevin Smith, is tall. But other than that, spitting him in, just kind of freaky. So, I can see how many of you now are Googling or looking up. IMDb has some good pictures, too, um, of Kevin Smith as Silent Bob. Look it up. I'm telling you. It'll freak you out. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's it for me. I'm going to go have some water and hopefully try to have some soup. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe right there and comment down below. Give me a thumbs up, too. All right? I love you. Share your smile, everyone. <laughs> love you. Bye.